Hi, I'm Tasman Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make a natural foundation stick. Now let's get into the lab. Now I'm going to be using this really cool packaging for my foundation stick today. These are the Infinite PP Pan Sticks by Quad Pack. So these guys, they come in three different sizes here and you can get different colors. As you can see here, these are nice and bright, vibrant colors, but you can choose different ones. They're made from a special mono material, which makes them 100% recyclable and 100% refillable, which is absolutely fantastic because we've noticed now that consumers are more inclined to pick something that they can reuse or refill and also recycle. So it makes it better for the environment. They also reduce CO2 emissions by up to 42%, which is fantastic, makes it really good for the environment. So check these guys out. They've got really good packaging here. Make an inquiry about the different colors um, and sizes that you can get. These would be suitable for a range of different products, you know, skincare or cosmetics. They're good for obviously foundation sticks. Um, you can do concealer sticks and other skincare products like a, a deodorant or antiperspirant stick and other types of stick balm. So really good packaging here, guys. Make sure you check them out. Now here I have my phase A ingredients. I am using a very light feeling uh, naturally derived ester called Lexfeel Natural. This is gonna give a nice light feel to the skin. You don't want your foundation to be too greasy. Now to this I'm gonna add um, two exotic oils. I've chosen some jojoba. This is a nice balancing oil, so it's good for dry and oily skin. And I'm also gonna use some Satcha Inchi oil. This is a really nice exotic oil. To this, I'm also going to add a little bit of shea butter. You can pick any other uh, exotic, exotic butter that you like. Now, next, that is really important, is waxes. So the hardness shouldn't come from your butters. They should come from your waxes because waxes are what's going to help keep it hard during hotter climates. You need to use a good balance of soft and hard waxes to get that right stick consistency. So I'm going to add some carnauba wax which is my hard wax and I'm also going to add some beeswax which is my soft wax. Now I'm just going to add that to the heat about 75 degrees and let it all melt until it is combined. Now we're gonna cool this slightly just to above setting temperature. And then we're gonna add our more heat sensitive materials. Now while that's cooling, I'm going to grind up my pigments in here. So I'm gonna add my iron oxides and also my mica and some titanium dioxide. The titanium dioxide is gonna help give some coverage to the foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and add my antioxidant for my natural plant oils to prevent this from oxidizing. And then I'm going to add my grounded up pigments. I'll give that a stir. As, as you can see, it's coming together really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of my foundation stick into that. Now, this is gonna take probably overnight to set. So I'm gonna leave this here and we're gonna come back and assess it the next day. Okay, so now that a couple of these have set, so as you can see, that's formed a really nice hard stick. It's still quite soft, which is gonna give good payoff and it's gonna make it easy to apply. It's not too soft that it's gonna break either, which is what you want. Mm. 
And there you go, that's how easy it is to create a natural foundation stick. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, leave any questions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on all our videos. Happy formulating.